regular viewers will know that I mentioned that I live in, in East London and Hackney. Um, so I'm not exactly disguising it. Um, <laughs> so let me get ri um, rid of something off the screen here. And that's all. How, this is the land of Diane Abbott. And Diane is not the MP for my bit of Hackney, but she is the MP for Hackney North. And I've been following the whole drama with her, including the, the protests outside the town hall a few days ago, which got got quite interesting with people standing with posters of Diane and that. Now, unlike many people, I, I'm not particularly fond of all the silliness of calling Diane the, the Hackney hippo and the bottomless and all that. It gets a bit tiresome after a bit. I don't particularly agree with all the politics. I find them all particularly well worked out, but the Hackney Hippo gets a bit like, okay, it's funny for about three seconds. Um, also, at least it's it's more funny than ones that do jokes about, I mean, black, which get are funny for about that long. Deal with the politics, not skin colour people. Um, but let's see what Diane is doing today in terms of sort of her politics, her political sort of strategies. As it stood, she was, it was sort of up and down sort of as to whether she was going to stand. And I, it keeps going up and down with Keir Starmer looking as weak as tea made for a 90-year-old, I noticed, with Angela Rayner stepping out and going, say, it's fine if Diane runs. Then we're, we're not sure. Then we're not sure again. It kept going back and forth. So let's see what's happening here. Live, Diane Abbott says she tends to, tend to run and win in Labour candidate. She probably will. I would guess Diane, who is now over 70, will probably run, win, and probably transition out to the House of Lords if she's still physically fit. Let's have a look and see what's going on there. One kind or another, whether it's voluntary. But this morning... Let's skip that back a bit every weekend so i'm sure you can manage it you can do it girl i believe in you get on that register get on it so the other thing is if you register to vote but then this is july the 4th uh, okay I, I don't need a load of teenagers talking about registering to vote um so let's kill them out a bit shadow home secretary says uh apprenticeships have broken it's quite funny where we're seeing all sorts of silliness it follows uh, this all follows her row over a political future with the comments about Irish people and travellers and Jews. And I thought they were a bit silly, to put it mildly. I got the point she was making, but she expressed it in a very clumsy manner. But I didn't see it required a 14 month investigation. She could have just been asked to clarify her point. It all became rather heated and quite silly. Let's see if I can find, though, Diane sort of like. The protest for Diana at Hackney Town Hall. That got quite ludicrous at points. With everyone holding posters. Oh, yep, here we go. Hack Diane Abbott says she will stand in Hackney by any means possible. Go Let's on, get yeah. past this silly ad. The chicken. What's going on? Someone's advertising a game, probably. Um, the country's first black MP. One of her well, some printer got a, ni a nice payday, and then for printing all that lot. Party's longest-serving veterans, but is Diane nice. Abbott a Ooh. Labour candidate? Nice this glossy election? posters. She believes the answer is no. Well, she is right as of now. We, of course, because this is three days old. Shocked to learn yesterday that I am going to be banned from running for the Labour Party. A surprise guest at a rally with... No, I don't like taking the piss out of people like Diane because I think there's some underlying illness there. I'll take the piss out of people for observed comments or silly remarks, but the way Diane is behaving lately, some of the behaviour with wobbly hands and odd verbal tics makes me think there may be illness involved. So I don't feel too good taking the mickey out of it. And I'm wondering if the woman might be better off for her own health retiring, to be quite frank, at times. Waters in her constituency. She said she'd had no contact from the party. It is as if you are not allowed to be 
a Labour MP unless you're prepared to repeat everything the leader says. The threat to stand... Honestly, those shaky hands don't look great. They remind me of my father, who is a, about a dozen years older and has the same problem occasionally when he's not feeling well. Um, it doesn't look all that great, and it looks like somebody who really does need to see a doctor about that. I hope she probably is seeing a doctor about that. There's an independent in the hackney seat she's held for nearly 40 years. By any means possible, I will be the candidate for Hackney North. <laughs> Her leader said earlier in the day she's not been banned, or at least not yet. All a great deal of fuss about nothing, I thought, you know. Yes, her comments were clumsy worded in that letter, as I noted. But I got her point, and I come from an Irish background. I got a point that I can disguise who I am, especially with this accent, because I've been, uh, I could disguise it by not opening my mouth. Somebody black can't disguise them, so I've been, been black. For them, racism is going to operate in a, in a different way to prejudice. That unless I choose to open my mouth and reveal who I am, or unless some, with, with the exception of Orthodox Jews who are obviously singled out by their religious garb, many Jews can just disguise who they are as well and not face the endless silliness of anti Semitism, which has unfortunately grown in this country again. Irish travellers, probably a bit more dif difficult because Irish travellers tend to stick to their own community and. But then again, many of them could disguise who they are. I've met people who are Irish travellers or who have Irish travel ancestry, and I haven't known it until they've chosen to tell me long long after. But you can't really disguise being black. It's it's very difficult. That was what I took from her letter. That was a simple point she was making. And I thought people made a much ado about nothing about the whole thing. It, it became a, a, a load of silliness. 14 months of investigation over nothing. Diane is not, as I say, my perfect idea of a candidate. And there are things I've disagreed with her. I think she gets some things wrong. But she is genuinely unique in so much as she was the first black female MP in Britain. The people in the area want her to be their MP, and that's what counts. It's not just black voters who will bloat for Diane. There are other people who will vote for her. And... Uh, it's if it's if it's a matter of we're going to have an anti-Semitic sort of Jew versus Black divide. Um, Starmer wants to nip that in the bud because we don't need that in politics, especially in an area like Hackney, which is down the road from me, twenty minutes away. We have Stamford Hill, lots of Jewish people. It's also intersecting a Black area, which is not far from it. There's already problems of hate and dislike. An intelligent politician would try and nip him in the bud. And I think as of today, he's probably realised that by just letting her stand and it's a damage limitation. Yet. That's not true. Uh, no decision has been taken to bar Diane Abbott. Um, the process that we were going through uh, ended with the restoration of the whip the other day. Um, so she's a member of the Parliamentary Labour Party. Um, and no decision has been taken barring her. He wanted today to be about his pledge to cut <coughs> NHS waiting lists, but some in his own party are aghast at the treatment of one of Labour's most famous faces. The row unlikely to dent Labour's confidence, though. The first exclusive Sky News YouGov poll of the race shows Labour is 20... I will say I also find the stuff that goes on about Diana being thick as a rock. To be quite annoying, Diana's been around a long time. She's not a young woman. Most 70-year-olds are beginning to, in many cases, have slight problems with cognition or slowing down a bit. If you watch Diane, and you could easily look her up on YouTube for 10 or 15 years ago or slightly more, you can see her funding programmes with Michael Portillo, and she's quite sharp and witty, and you can see them bantering and mucking about with each other. Um, if everyone thinks they're going to be sort of marvellously witty at like age 80 or 90, if you make it that far, I've got news for you. You're probably not. <laughs> You're just probably not, guys. You're going to find your cognitive abilities are going to slow down, and you may have days when you are blurry and it's hard to concentrate and things 
become fuzzy for you, it doesn't mean you're an idiot. It, be, it There are certainly people who keep their wits sharp till one minute before they die, but for many of us, we slow down as we age. It's life. Let's keep going. Seven points ahead of the Conservatives. Tory MPs tell me they worry that this shows that number 10 has made a miscalculation. Rishi Sunak's team called this election to start moving voters in their direction. But our poll shows that they either aren't listening or don't like what they've seen from the Tories. One minister. Well, said, that's not really surprising. What's Rishi offering at the moment? A stupid scheme for national service where we get kids to, to work for free and compete for army places. I can't see that really appealing to many people. Can you? If you try selling that to, to people. Today, they just don't think Rishi Sunak is good enough at politics. Even friendly voters can't escape noticing that gap. What I do see in the mornings is these polls, yeah? And you're quite a way behind Labour at the moment. How just much a bit. do you have that those polls are a true reflection of six weeks' time? The only poll that matters is the one on July 4th, when all of you get to choose our future. Right, that's the... Not really, Rishi. The polls do, to an extent, tend to mirror how people vote. They do tend to narrow as time goes on. And the gap between the two parties has historically mattered. But but that sounds like a, a, lot of, a lot of, well, quite frankly, bullshit, Rishi, where you're trying to desperately pretend that you're not in serious trouble. One that I'm focused on. And as you can see, I hope, I am working my socks off. Oh, Announcing today more funding for apprenticeships, but the polling has many on the right looking to... Well, Rishi, if you could do funding for apprenticeships, why couldn't you do funding for a proper national service scheme and run it like some countries where the national service element is almost akin to an apprenticeship? Just saying. The future beyond this election. But yeah, that was a perfect slice if you're looking for a job in Telecom. Yeah. There we go. Yay! Right, there you go. Is this man pitching to join the fight for the soul of the Tory party? I got rid of Mrs May <laughs> with the Brexit party. He's just hoping to steal some votes by uh, being moderately far right and moderately native in his politics. How well he'll succeed doing it, who knows. Oh, I stood aside for Boris. And that tie is bloody majority. awful, by the way. Back for me. I've done them some huge favours over the years as a party. Give me something back, we might have a, co a conversation. Oh, my God, Rishi... Rishi... Rishi in a military vehicle. Are you going to do the national service yourself then, Rishi? And, and save everyone else the trouble? Honestly, I'll end it by saying, because this ends in a few seconds, that, you know, um, Diane is probably nearing the end of her political career. I'm glad to see her in, back in the party. Whether I agree with all of her points of view or not is another matter, but it all became very heated and silly about that letter, I thought. And also, it became a question of who the hell was in charge at the top of the Labour Party at points, as as to who had the authority for anything. It became confused over the last week or two. I would say I do have some concerns looking at Diane about actual health, but that's you know true for many people in the, who are in their seventies or so. And perhaps Diane needs to think possibly going forward about retiring just on those grounds and looking after herself. But she doesn't need to require on the grounds of being the hackney hippo or the abotomous or an idiot. That sort of stuff is ludicrous and it's just tiresome and and, and cheap cheap knocks as done by people who have nothing more constructive to offer, I think.